Are you interested in improving your public speaking abilities, sharpening your acting skills, and boosting your self-confidence and creativity? If so, attending Improv Kingston classes, workshops, and events might just be the thing for you. Here to tell us more about it is Dan Walmsley, the director of Improv Kingston. Dan, when did Improv Kingston begin? Well, in 2016, we started offering adult students classes, um, and it's been every it's been steady since then. Even through the pandemic, we had to do some Zoom classes, but we still continued with improv. What is improv? Improv is the world's oldest art form. It is before novels or paintings or anything else. It is the original art form, which is storytelling and collaborative storytelling. So you're telling a story along with other people and you're acting it out as you do it. So you're recreating or creating an, a story in front of an audience. Without a script, you're just making it up on the spot. Tell me why improv is used. Well, improv is great for an actor that wants to sharpen their skills, but it's also great, there's, a great, there's great side effects for anybody that does it. You just start to feel more confident, you're able to express yourself better, uh, your creativity really you know, begins to flow. So there's a lot of benefits to it. A lot of self-esteem comes from doing improv, being able to just laugh and let your guard down and connect with other people. Is there a skill set? No, there's no skill set. The, the, all you have to do is turn off your logical brain and react. So if you're able to stop thinking and just engage with the other people, you'll be able to do improv. When people start learning improv, what age should they begin at if they're interested in joining Improv Kingston? Well, I know that a lot of kids can uh, do improv in their high school programs. Improv Kingston offers classes to adults 18 years of age and older. So that's, that's who we look for, is people that are 18 and up. Uh, but you can start whenever you like. Uh, you could start y your own improv club in your school, for example. And if you have been doing improv and you get away from it, how hard is it to get back into improv? It's not hard to get back into it at all. You just got to start doing it again. You do get rusty fast, though. Like you're saying, if you get away from it, you're, you're, you're going to start to get rusty. And, uh, but you do bounce back quickly once you start doing it again, for sure. Can um, you tell me about um, what's happening this coming July? Yeah, for sure. What, what we started doing back in February is every month we offer the first Friday show, which is a performance for people to come to. It's only $10, starts at 8 o'clock on the first Friday of every month. Every month there's a different twist, a different theme. We've done a Star Wars themed one, we did a horror themed one, uh, we did a Dungeons and Dragons themed, etc. So every month there will be a twist, so you can come and see some really high quality improv that's put on by our advanced students. That's the first Friday of every month at the Tet Center. Also, we have the Intro to Improv workshop the first Saturday of every month from noon to 2.30. So anybody who wants to just try it without taking an entire eight-week class can come to the Intro to Improv workshop. And how did you sign up for the workshops, etc.? Just go to improvkingston.com and click on Upcoming Classes and you'll be set. Tell me a little bit more about how good it makes you feel when you do improv. What are the benefits? What are the other benefits? The benefits include just a, a sense of well-being, a sense of uh, accomplishment as well when you really uh, manage to get a story out. It, it is a chance for you to connect with other people. It's all about empathy and connecting and collaborating with other people. So it, it can be a great escape as well. You just spend some time laughing with other people, doing some hilarious stuff, and you're gonna reap the benefits. The stress level, the anxiety is gonna be decreasing. Dan, do you think you and I could do some improv right now? Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's Why try. don't we improvise uh, that I've uh, come and, and brought you a present, an Improv Kingston shirt at your house, um, and we'll play questions only, where we can only speak in questions. So, April, I brought you this shirt. Do you like it? Wow, why did you bring me that shirt, Dan? You don't, don't you like it? I, I'm wondering why you brought it to me, and I'm seeing that... Um, it certainly is 
It looks like it's in very important to you, is it not? Y to give me that Don't shirt? you like shirts? Don't you wear sh uh, t-shirts? I, I do like t-shirts, but I'm not sure about this gift. Tell me why I should have this gift. Is there some other gift I could get you? I don't think there is. Just, I'd like to know why it's just lovely. I don't understand why you don't want the t-shirt. I will uh, gladly accept the t-shirt if I can give you these flowers. That's not a question. Oh, it's not a question. <laughs> will you accept these flowers? <laughs> why would I want flowers? I, uh, well, you gave me gifts, so that's why I would like to give you the flowers. Would you like to take these flowers with Aren't you? Aren't those plastic flowers? Why, <laughs> I believe they are plastic flowers, but why kill a uh, real plant, Dan? Are you a plants' right activist? I have been for a long while. <laughs> are you not aware of that? How would I know that you're a plants' rights activist? And how did you know I'd like the T-shirt? It was just a guess. Thank you, Dan. Thank <laughs> you so much. Best wishes on the upcoming events right. that you have. Well, thanks for having Improv Kingston. You're very welcome, Dan.